Hello all. Um, today is Sunday the 25th. And um, I didn't I didn't do a video yesterday. Um, but I slept like 17 hours yesterday. Um, so um, I had my little bit of a scare Friday. Um, woke up to some heavy bleeding, but uh, it calmed down, and uh, I did talk to the doctor, and could be a possibility of many things. Um, uh, could be um, my actual period starting. It could be because the doctor shook everything up in there, and um, scar tissue is um, bleeding. Um, and, um, my favorite thing to think is that, um, my body is healing, and this is one way that it's releasing some of the toxins that are in the body, um, by releasing the book that I've got built up in there. Um, So that was Friday, Saturday, um, and Friday it started, um, it got really super light again, but it was light, you know, bright red blood, but it was light, so it was no big deal, didn't worry about anything. Saturday woke up, same thing happened, so bled really heavily right when I first woke up. Um, Then, um, same thing, it got really light, but I was just wore out. I was just tired, tired, tired. So I slept 17 hours, like I said. Um, and, um, got through the day. Today, same thing happened. Um, woke up in the morning, it was real heavy bleeding. So, um, I honestly would like to truly believe, I, no, let me change my words, beep, 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 I'm erasing this. I truly believe that um, it's just my body is um, healing, and this is something that it needs to do to heal. So, um, you know, I got apparently a lot of toxins in my body, uh, a lot of crud a lot of negative thoughts that were building up to stuff. And, um, it, it's healing, it's releasing. Um, today was a very, very lazy day. Um, I actually got invited by a couple people to go do things, which I would have loved to have done, but, um, you know, it was just a very lazy day. I napped on and off all day. And it is actually, right now, it is like, it's 8.16. And I just realized that the only thing that I've ate today was a piece of watermelon. And, you know, drank a bunch of water, but that's not good for me. That's not good for me. I need to, um... I need to make sure I keep my, get those, you know, my nourishment up. And, but anyway, um, here, look. Hello. That's my companion. He's my cuddle, cuddle bunny. Hmm. And my ornery kitty. Um, that's big one. But anyway. Excuse me. Um. So I'm going to force myself to eat a salad when I get done doing this. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the alternative things that I've been doing. Um, those of you that know me, and I know a couple of my daughters are watching this, you know that for a long, long, long time now, um, I've been doing a lot of this stuff. and. It's really helping me through this. Um, besides drinking uh, liquid mana, sleeping with liquid mana, 
and bathing with liquid mana. I'm also um, drinking cell food and um, the cannabis oil. I've got it on order. I'm still waiting to have it delivered. Hopefully it will be within a day or two. Um, and then on top of that, um, you know, besides my many numerous of healer friends, lightworker friends who are, you know, sending me the good vibes and good energies and everything, um, I've been um, able to do a lot more Reiki on myself, which is really helped a lot. Um, Ho'oponopono, which is um, really helpful for so many things. Um, I um, have not done EFT or SRT, which are two things that um, I really would like to um, incorporate in with my healing, um, but I have not done those two. And then, of course, meditation. Um, and um, just my own little type of clearing rituals. Um, I've been saging myself pretty regularly, but I've always done that. Um, and um, I've been working with the Archangels, Archangel Raphael, um, Michael, Angel Josiel, um, to help my thoughts stay pure and beautiful and um, um, you know, good thoughts. Excuse me, I got probably cat hair up with my nose. Hmm. Anyway, um, and then plus, um, just really meditating on releasing and surrendering and accepting all healing and, um, having my higher self and my soul and my beautiful self accept the healing and have it stick and have it hold. Um, working on um, forgiveness of um, some family members, uh, forgiveness of my mother, my father, and my sister, and especially of myself. Um, um, and then, like I said, I have uh, quite a few uh, people doing, sending me different types of um, healing and prayers and um, just blessings and everything. Um, and you know what? It's always funny how when you're in a situation, the answers come in various forms, but they come. And so it's been interesting how um, I keep receiving, like, information from, you know, like, uh, cannabis cures cancer and meditation cures cancer and liquid mana cures cancer and it's like you know all of a sudden out of nowhere I'm getting poured with all this great information and um, just, just blessed with many great people in my life um, and it's um, been very interesting to see um, who has um, kind of stepped um, up and called me and offered me assistance and anything I need or, um, you know, has lended me um, a hand or even a shoulder to cry on or just time to get out and get out of my head and out of, you know, out of my room. Um, so I got to do a special shout out to a few people. Uh, first of all, to all of my kids, Alan, Anna, Abby, Alicia, Angel, and Michael. You know it. Um, and then um, I have a special friend, Maria, who is amazing and uh It's amazing. <laughs> and then um, some special friends, uh, 
Janine and Clark. Um, they have uh, helped me tremendously, and I just have so much love for them. Uh, Matt, um, who uh, who started this healing for me many, 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 many moons ago, and neither one of us knew it until a week ago. And um, Phoebe, um, a real special, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman. Um, you're going to be seeing her on her own TV show soon, too. That I know. Um, but anyway, and there's, uh, there's so many more others that have um, sent prayers to me, sent healing to me, um, just have offered me kind words and compassion. And, um, you know, it's, it's something that uh, now being in this situation, I see that is so important that, uh, you know, um, of course we need um, advice on how different ways to heal ourselves, but just to have someone there to hold our hand or just to, just to, like I said, take me out on a drive to get my mind off things and, you know, um, really showing true love-filled compassion and uh, no criticism, no what if, just true, true compassion. And I always think of Mother Teresa when uh, I think of true compassion. Um, it, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Um, so anyway, um, tomorrow I'm going to go take another bath. <laughs> and I thank you, Anna and Abby, for letting me use your bathtub. And um, and um, a big shout out to my my roomies because I love you guys dearly. And um, life's good. Life is amazing. This has made me, um, you know how people say things about, you know, oh, I'm ready for, I'm ready, I'm ready to die. I'm okay with my life the way it is. You know, I'm, I'm prepared for death. You know, I know I've lived a good life, but um, I was one of those people, and until I got the scare to where this could possibly be close to my end, we never know when it's going to be, but I saw things in such a different light, a really different way, um, and I really don't think you can see it that way until you go through something like this. Um, it just makes you think about a lot of things, and, um, I know I've led a good life, and I've had really good, good things. Um, some things maybe not so good, but you know what? I wouldn't, I wouldn't change them because I wouldn't be where I'm at right now, and I really like where I'm at right now. Um, I'm just truly blessed, and so anyway. This is a shout out to my angel. Remember our sign? Or was it this? I don't remember. But anyway, I love you and I'll be seeing you soon. And anyway, um, I'm off for the night. I'm going to go try to eat something. I'm not hungry at all, but I'm going to try to eat something. And um, we'll see what tomorrow brings. I've got my... Uh, appointment with my, with the chemo and radiation doc on Tuesday and the CT scan on Wednesday. So, um, I've got a couple more days to 
do some of this other healing. And uh, I'm planning on going in, and they're going to look at that CT scan and say, she doesn't have cancer. What are you talking about? That was a misdiagnosis. Because it's going to happen. Oh, wait. i got to erase it. <laughs> it happened. Anyway, um, I love you all. Bye. Peace in.